a dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, sensitive skin, acne prone skin. Do you know why you need a cleanser and do you know how to choose a cleanser? Why is it necessary to wear your sunscreens? Hi my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miriam. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three basic essential products that you need to start off a skincare routine if you're looking for ways to start your skincare routine or if you're looking for products to start your skincare routine and you do not know how to come about this product these are only three products that you need to start a skincare routine whether you have a dry skin oily skin combination skin sensitive skin acne prone skin so if this sounds like a topic of interest you'll definitely want to hook up and watch this video Okay, I've done a video like this where I explained to um, newbies that wanted to start skincare routine and do not know how to come up with their own products. If you haven't checked that video, you will do good to check it out. I'll put the link up here somewhere and I'll also share it in the description box. And if that video is a little bit trickier or bulkier for you, this is why I'm splitting it into two different videos. I will have this one which I shared three basic skincare products that you need and i'll do another video sharing routine enhancers things and you can grab things very fast so with that being said let's hop right into this video first thing first you will need a cleanser do you know why you need a cleanser and do you know how to choose a cleanser so the essential usage of a cleanser is to remove dirt from your face that have settled in or have come in contact with your skin during the day and night cleanser is the first step to your skincare routine and the first step is always crucial because this will say whether or not your products are going to work for you or not so imagine this if your hair is dirty and then you go to make your hair you know definitely you'll have an outcome yes but you would not have a great outcome like that person whose hair and scalp is washed and purified that person is definitely going to have a better outcome than you would have so this is why the first step is always essential and critical come to know that you're cleansing your face properly in the right manner to be able to get the benefits of whatever is coming next on your skin without you cleansing your face properly you are not going to receive the maximum benefit from whatever product you're going to use next you need a cleanser and this is why you need a cleanser and this is why you also need to you know cleanse your skin properly with a cleanser we have different types of cleansers in the market we have different types of cleanser outside there so how do you know which one is best for you if you have an oily skin you would want to stick around with clarifying foaming wash because these are cleansers sorry that will wash off your face and the oil that comes out of your face and the oil that settles on your face properly and without also stripping your face dry because if you have an oily skin that doesn't mean you are going to you know, remove every oil out of your face leaving your face dry and tight there are cleansers outside there that are designed for people with oily skin and also if you if your skin is sensitive there are cleansers outside there that are meant for your sensitive skin and if you have a dry skin and hydrating cleansers outside there for you they wash you clean and they also hydrate you this is all about cleanser next is a moisturizer think of it this way since i am or since i have took out the oil or the dirt out of my face i i mean you should definitely moisturize the face you know to repay the oil that you took outside your face most especially with people that have oily skin because i've seen people with oily skin saying i don't need a moisturizer because i have an oily skin in fact you need a moisturizer just as anybody else needs a moisturizer baby girl you see if you have an oily skin and then you wash off your face and you are not moisturizing it enough it means you're going to make your sebum glands that's the glands that are necessary for creating oil you're going to trigger them to produce more and more oil to your face which means at the end of the day you will be having more oil on your face more greasiness and you'll be more confused because i'm washing my face to you know get rid of this oil that my face is producing but then i'm having more production solely because you do not moisturize you have to compensate for the oil not let your skin produce the oil for you because your skin don't want to be um dehydrated so that's why it's creating that oil for you but if you try to put the oil manually so you're, you're telling your glands you know what rest i'm doing this job for you 
you need a moisturizer because the skin needs moisture to replenish the water that it loses during the day have ingredients such as ceramides you know hyaluronic acid that can provide your skin with a maximum and healthy hydration it needs to stay soft supple and youthful people with dry skin would want to stick with moisturizers that are highly moisturizing and people with oily skin need to stay on moisturizers that are not you know so heavy they are like watery to have this like watery texture these are the kind of um moisturizers people with oily skin needs that with textury a uh, watery texture and people with dry skin would want to stick to moisturizers that are thick and kind of a little bit heavy those are friendly for people with dry skin so this is all about moisturizers i mean these things are just simple and straight to the point so maybe you do not have somebody to explain this better for you and that's why i'm here to explain to you so moving to the next point we have sunscreen sunscreen is vital and important it doesn't mean if you're white it doesn't mean if you're black and of course as hell it doesn't mean if it is sunny or not because i've seen people tell me that we're moving into the cold season do i really need a sunscreen because the sun is not coming out you see honey whether the sun is outside whether the sun is not outside you need a sunscreen whether you're going outside whether you're not going outside as long as it is daytime that day is inside as long as it is daytime you need a sunscreen because those rays that you're trying to protect yourself from the uvas and the uvbs they are going to pick through your window or through your door they'll just find a way to just come inside the room and meet you there so you need a sunscreen inside the room no matter how just tiny little bit it is you don't even need much but you need it regardless of the situation and regardless of the season you need to wear your sunscreens that's just on a period level so why is it necessary to wear your sunscreens necessary to wear your sunscreen every day and also every season because it reduces your risk of skin cancer and also to reduce the effect of photo aging which can reduce dark spots and wrinkles i know you've seen where people when you talk about what are vital um, product of a skincare sunscreen is always mentioned you see this sunscreen whether you do whether you're wearing whatever thing you're wearing in the middle of your routine you see the first step and the last step are what are going to determine it working for you like your cleanser if your cleanser is not you're not doing it properly my dear it's just a zero a zero and also like your SPFs if you're also doing everything in between but then you're not sealing it out with a sunscreen it's just a zero you will be having all the serums all the treatment to take off your dark spot to clear your acne but you're not wearing the sunscreen it's just zero spf 30 and above are what you should be checking out for if you're purchasing a sunscreen and with these three things whether you have whatever thing on your face you start with these three basics do it morning and night and see try to see the difference in a month so if you're seeing the difference in a month and you want to you know go forward and do something like add things like routine enhancers i'm going to drop that video so you want to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post video do not forget that consistency is key nobody just woke up overnight and just have this fine looking skin you have to be consistent on it and also be wary of things that you eat that is your diet and your lifestyle because sometimes you know just too much sugar is just doing us harm so you want to check on your sugar level and also if you have any hormonal imbalances these are important to check while doing your skincare we are also doing a skincare routine and you want to give it a minimum of six weeks because six weeks is the appropriate time your skin needs to complete the cycle of renewing itself so you see in like almost a month and a half is what you need to see if the routine is really working for you so this brings us to the end of this video i told you it's short brief and precise and i'll also be dro i'll also be dropping the routine enhancers for you guys in case you need it see you next time on another upload bye